Many of you are surely wondering why I have summoned you at this hour. It's come to my attention that earlier this evening, Harry Potter was cited in Hogsmeade. Now, should anyone, student or staff, attempt to aid Mr. Potter, they will be punished in a manner consistent with the severity of their transgression. Furthermore, any person found to have knowledge of these events who fails to come forward will be treated as equally guilty. Now then, if anyone here has any knowledge of Mr. Potter's movements this evening, I invite them to step forward. Now. It seems, despite your exhaustive defensive strategies, you still have a bit of a security problem, Headmaster. I'm afraid it's quite extensive. How dare you stand where he stood? Tell them how it happened that night. Tell them how you looked him in the eye, a man who trusted you and killed him. Tell them. Supposed to be out of bed, you blithering idiot. Oh. Sorry, ma'am. As it happens, Mr. Filch, your arrival is most opportune. If you would, I would like you, please, to lead Miss Parkinson and the rest of Slytherin House from the hall. Exactly where is it I'll be leading them to, ma'am? The dungeons would do. <laughs> right. 
I presume you have a reason for returning, Porter. What is it you need? Time. Professor, as much as you can get me. Do what you have to do. I'll secure the castle. Porter. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Professor. Hold the fort, Neville. 